if you were truly dead to yourself, if you were not living for yourself, but you had become a living sacrifice, and it's all about God and about other people, and if it wasn't about promoting yourself, if you were dead to yourself, you would not be offended when people come out and, and say things and hurt you. I know that that's a strong statement, and some of you are thinking about it, but it's absolutely true. If you could take a corpse and somehow or another put a corpse in front of me, I could spit on the corpse, I could insult the corpse, I could hit the corpse, I could ignore the corpse, but if it's a corpse, it's not going to respond because it's dead. If you were truly dead to yourself and alive unto God, then when people criticize you and come against you, you wouldn't react the way you do. The reason you get so hurt, the reason you are so offended isn't because of what other people do. It's because of what's on the inside of you, your self-love, your self-promotion. Man, I know that these things are contrary to what most of us think, but it's what the scriptures teach. You know, Jesus is the greatest example. Philippians chapter 2 says, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation. In other words, he emptied himself of his self-desire. And he thought about us. He put us ahead of himself and made himself of no reputation. And he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. And because of that, God has exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that all should confess that Jesus is Lord.